Welcome back to the channel where we are back with Season 7 of Rocket League. So what I thought we could do is go through all the rewards that I got this season, all the titles, and then we'll have a quick look at the Rocket Pass. So I've just entered the game, it skipped into it, I'm not too sure why. There was no cinematic or anything though, but here we go. So we've got Season 6 Bronze Award already. I've not actually seen any of the rewards so far, so it'll be quite interesting to see them once we've uh, okayed through all of these. So we managed to get the Season 6 Bronze, the Season 6 Silver, Season 6 Gold, Season 6 Platinum, Diamond, Champion, Grand Champion, and unfortunately we didn't manage to get the Supersonic Legend, but will this season be the season? I'm determined we can at least get it in Rumble, and hopefully if we can get it in Rumble, then we can try and work our way towards the rewards. But anyway, we've got the Season 6 Grand Champion title, the Dunk Master, the RNG Champ, and the Floor Destroyer, but this season was the first season for a while, I think since Season 1, that we have not got the Blizzard Wizard, unfortunately. We also get given the hand, Happy Sunbeam at Sacred Exotic Wheels as well, the Octane Thresher, and there we go. So we're into Season 7. I'm guessing this is the new map. It looks, looks quite nice. We'll obviously do a game in the new map, but we'll have a quick look firstly through the Rocket Pass. So here we go. So this is the new car. It's called the Maestro. It actually looks quite nice to be honest it looks a little bit like a um bentley i think that's what it's meant to be isn't it yeah i think that is meant to be a bentley and it goes quite well with the hat as well to be honest so we might have to give this new car a go so we'll get the uh, premium pass as well straight away like we do every season there we go so we've got the car we've got the maestro and we'll give that a go in a second in training but we'll have a look through the rest of the um rewards so you've got the maestro outline not looking anything different to most uh, um, decals. The golden goalkeeper, again, not that impressive. Nice little boost there, the shield breaker, the 10% party boost. Then you've got the Zomba limited player banner. That's interesting, that's quite a new new thing because Zombas are quite old, so I'm surprised they brought that one back. Then you obviously get your rare drops. Orchid, Ocroid, even Ocroid, interesting name. Nice little bit of gold in the middle, but I'm not a huge fan of gold on cars. If, if anyone is, let me know. Unless you've got all the alpha boost and all the gold stuff, then yes, definitely go for it. But I think I did hear about actually there being more gold awards this season. I'm not too sure what that is though. I need to have a look into that. We'll add that to the end of the video, but we'll have a look at what all that gold meant. Then we've got the Undergrowth Limited Animated Decal. King Big Deal. Yeah, these are all the uh, basic Deco Dare, limited paint finish. What's the music like? Interesting bit of music. <laughs> it's probably one that I won't use, but anyway, chauffeur wheels. That'd be quite nice, probably, with the car. There we go. The uh, shield brake limited trail, not bad. The glasses. They're sort of like 3D glasses. What's everyone think of all the items so far? They don't look that impressive to me. I don't think I'll be using many of them. May try out the new car, though. And yeah, another gold thing. So I think they're going for the gold sort of theme this season. The Deco Palm. And we've got the Maestro Apollo at decal. We've got another limited player title. Interesting. And we've got a little bird. Uh, dragonfly, even not a bird. Go across some debutante wheels. They're quite nice. I quite like the white with the red in the middle. That would be quite good for the orange car that I use. I missed this one out. The Fat Stacks. <laughs> fat stacks who's got fat stacks on the topper let me know down in the comments if anyone's got to there already just to use the fat stacks uh, octane summer slide that looked nice and a bit more music it's all quite chilled music as well fine it's got the gold theme and the chilled music so far for this season looks like the theme the helicon limited wheels they again looking all right got the little gold again on the inside they quite they quite suit this car quite well actually if you maybe get a gold hat and stuff as well, get the uh, alpha cap, but not many people have them and I do not have money for that either. The Contesta Limited Avatar Border, the Maestro Marbello Floor, the old school limited antenna, all of these ones just basic at the moment. Diamante wheels, they look horrendous. Anyone that uses them, their car has got to look ugly. I don't know how you can pull them off. If you've got any good pictures, send me them on Discord. If you can try and make this car look nice with those wheels, I'll be very impressed. Then you've got the uh, Bougie limited, limited Edition decal, the limited paint finish bling. Oh, here we go, a goal explosion. Oh, I quite like that goal explosion. Still not my favourite, but I do quite like that one. Let's watch that one again. Yeah, no, that is quite a nice goal explosion. That's up at tier 35. Still got loads of tiers to go. 
Breakout Born to boost. That doesn't look that amazing. Again, Sushi Roller, a wheel that I'll probably never use. And then a quick excavator on the top. I should use that as a civil engineer. Then the Maestro Broom, limited decal. What's this? Limited player banner, premier. Yeah, nothing impressive. They look like the most basic wheels possible, that flow form. That's quite a nice decal actually with that car. A little bit bright though, maybe a little bit too bright. The fancy cane. Got the Marriott at Shard. All these wheels again, not nothing special about them to be honest. Not seeing anything amazing right now. Oh, that old blink pad looked quite nice. Knocked off it. Oh, I quite like that decal. What's everyone else think of that? The Octane Blink Pad, that's probably the nicest thing I've seen so far. It's quite sleek for the car. I don't know how, what it actually is. It looks like it's just dots and as you move around, it's got like different complexions. I like that, I like that. The Debonair. Oh, what was that wheel down here? It's like a barber's. Yeah, barber shop wheel. That's <laughs> a bit ugly again. I don't think I'll be using that one. The Alistair. That's quite a nice wheel as well. Although it's a little bit like a starfish, so I'm not 100% sure on that one. Maestro Huntress, that again looking quite sleek with that car. They're going for quite an interesting theme this season of like sleek cars, the gold, the slow music. And then they've got a Phoenix Fire. It's like the Harry Potter, the Phoenix. Again, something I probably will never use. The Gala Limited Wheels, yellow, definitely not my colour. Dominus Agamid. That's quite a nice one as well. It's a little bit like the Octane one, but it's got more of a wave going through it. I don't really like the wave going through it, to be honest. And again, that one. I'm not a massive fan of decals with waves. For some reason, they just don't appeal to me at all. A nice little avatar border. Another percent boost. Some more wheels. Again, not the nicest of wheels, but they've got the gold theme going through it again. That is not a nice decal. That is quite an ugly decal. What's it? The palm front. Oh, that's not a nice decal at all. Got a jellyfish as a limited topper. That was quite nice. Phoenix Fire. This is an even bigger Phoenix Fire. Bloody hell, that, that, that's going to be so annoying in game if anyone's using that. The Debutant Crystallized. That's an interesting one. I'm not a massive fan. I don't really like the pink going through it, to be honest. It's quite nice when it's not got the pink going through it, but with the pink, not a massive fan. And all of these basic things, another Affluenta, another wavy one. Again, not a massive fan of those decals. Oh, that's quite a nice one, the Alistair Inverted. So they've sort of, it's sort of like that Starfish one, but they've done a little pattern through it. Oh, no, maybe not. So it looks nice like that, but then they ruin it with all the uh, effects going on with it. Like that. Oh, I don't like that. But anyway, another Phoenix Fire Gold Explosion. Oh, I like that Gold Explosion. This is one of the ones actually I think that I saw could be in gold. You'll have to let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure this gold explosion you can get in gold. But yeah, so that's the end of the Rocket Pass. There's quite a lot of nice items in this one, but then there's also a lot of ugly ones which I will never touch. Let me know which is your favorite item of this season's Rocket Pass and let me know what you think of all the different items. So let's have a quick look through the decals then. So we've got the Season 6 Bronze, which is actually quite a nice. I do quite like these decals. Probably one of the better decals that we've had because this is from Season 3. So let's have a look at the Season 3 Bronze when I compare. Yeah, so it's a lot nicer than that one. And then the Season 1 Bronze, yeah, again, a lot nicer. So I think they've outdone the other decals this season. But again, a bit minimal effort on the um, different decals. We'll then have a quick look at the Silver. So again, silver looking quite nice, a bit snazzy. Got the rep in the Rocket League hat as well. And we've got the Season 6 actually from the previous season wheels right now on the Season 6 Diamond rewards from the previous Season 6. So it's getting a bit confusing now, but I've noticed that it's S6 if you want to see the more recent seasons. And it'll say Season 6 for the old ones, for the OGs. And then we'll have a look at the gold. There we go, the gold one looking quite nice again. Very snazzy, all of these decals to be fair. Now we'll have a quick look at the uh, Platinum. That's nice as well with the stars. Quite like the stars on it. I'm guessing the, the Titanium White would have been for the SSA. Unfortunately, we didn't get that one. Here's the Champion. Again, very nice. I do quite like these decals. I think I might be using some of these decals in games. We'll have to see. And then finally, the Grand Champion one. So that's quite good for the orange team. but. Yeah, makes the car look slick as well, the uh, new Bentley car. 
So hopefully I'll be repping these in a few of my videos, maybe on the Fennec. We'll have to have a look and see what it looks like on there. But anyway, we'll get into a game and we'll try out this new car. So we'll play a quick game of ranked with the new car and see what we think of it. It looks like it's going to be a Dominus sort of hitbox. I'm not actually sure what the hitbox is, but the wheels are interesting already. The wheels look pretty similar to most wheels. Um, oh, it actually feels quite quick, this car. I'm not too sure whether it is the uh, Dominus kit box, but it does feel quite quick and smooth to turn and stuff. It looks like it's going to have... Actually, it could be a bit more like the Batmobile, to be honest. Let's see if we can uh, follow this one up. We're able to get a little touch on that one. I'm going to go take this middle boost as it drops down, see what SGB can do. It's a nice little flick from him forward. It is quite smooth to drive. I do quite like driving this car. If you, if you do like this car, in the comments, let me know what you think of it. They're going to knock it off to this right-hand side now and try and flick it centre. Oh, I am finding it quite hard to aerial with it though for some reason. Because I am usually alright with the uh, Dominus at aerials. That could go in. Teammate should be able to get back in time though. Nice save there from our teammate as it flicks up and around to this left hand side. I'll wait for his touch now. Oh, I couldn't get up to it. Nice save from our teammate again. I'm going to go get this middle boost. They're going to probably boom this one forward. I like flipping with this car. It's got a little bit of elegance to it. Oh, nice shot there from our teammate. I'll leave that one for it. Him. Oh, he's just hit that one wide. That was a big chance to score there. This is our first game as well, so we want to try and get the win here. Oh, teammate takes it off first, which is not ideal. It's coming back across. Oh, they've messed up, though. Teammate is up to it fast. Try and dink it over him. That's a nice 50-50. Hopefully he can follow it up. No, he's missed somehow. I'm going to rotate back now. I'm not actually sure whether it was a hard reset or a soft reset either this season, so hopefully it's a hard reset. I quite like the uh, challenge of trying to get the ranks back. There we go, nice knock off to the side from us. They're up for that one, hitting it forward. That has gone wide. Still 0-0 though, 3 minutes and 25 to go here in the first game of the season. Dinks up and round. Don't think our teammate's going to get touched. Yes, he is. We get a really nice 50-50. Oh, unfortunately though, we land on one of them. I'm going to rotate back now. We actually played up against Johnny Boydy uh, yesterday. Me, Fluky and Venom. So I'll try and get a video on that as well. But that's obviously from last season. Try and pass that one back to our teammate. Although he doesn't go for it, that's okay. They're going to hit that one off that backboard. Good 50-50 from our teammate. We're up for this aerial now. Oh, I don't, I don't, I'm not a massive fan of aerialing with the long cars. They feel a bit heavier in the air. There we go. We'll knock that one off to the side. We'll pinch that one round. They're going to go for a dribble now, probably. We can't seem to get it out of our half at the moment, which is not ideal here. We get a nice little flick though there. Try and flick it around him. Unfortunately, he beats me to that aerial. Oh, I get demoed just before taking the boost. SLB hits that one forwards. Nice little spawn for us though. As we boom it back into their half. He's backed off too, which is good. Oh, I tried to get it underneath him, but he didn't fall for the jump. I was going to come back across. Chance for our teammate to shoot. Oh, it rolls up the post. Will they be able to get it clear maybe? SLB up for the aerial. Puts it back across. Should be a goal here. No, they tap it away. Really nice play there from him on the backboard. I'll put this back in the middle. There we go. Teammate to score. And he's missed a simple goal. That's all good though. As they boom it away. A minute and 59 to go. We'll let them knock that off that side. We've got a little bit of time now. Pinch it forwards. Gaz is up for it. It's currently a 3v2. Hopefully Rask comes back. I'm going to go take this corner boost. They're going to flick it up. We're going to follow that one though. Solid 50-50 from us away. Yeah, Rask is back, which is good. I'm going to rotate back. Let's corner boost. Here comes SJB with a nice boom forwards. Hopefully it's going to bounce nicely for us, which it does. Can he get it in the centre? Oh, he's boomed it too hard for me. Teammate almost able to score, though. Nice touch up the side there from Uvan. Good flick forwards from them. Got a little bit of time now to take this one away. Try and bait them in. Flick that round them. That'll do. Flick that round him, too. And then maybe flick it towards centre. They're up for that area. He'll knock it down. Should be a chance to shoot here. They do get it clear initially. SLB up for it, gets beaten. It's a close game here at the moment, a minute and nine to go. I do not like this car. Nice flick forward. I'm just going to control that down. Is it enough? Yes, it is. 1-0 to us. Great pass from our teammate. And we score the first goal of the season in the first game. Nice little flick there from us. Pass them and in. And with 59 seconds to go, can we hold on to this as we move into kickoff two? I'm going up for this one. Oh, that's a solid kickoff though from us. Might be quite good for kickoffs because it's slightly bigger than the uh, Fennec. I'm going to work my way back now. I find the flipping's quite dodgy. And some, for some reason, our teammate doesn't go for the shot. 
and they get a simple goal to make it 1-1, so that's the first goal we've conceded. It's not the best of goals to concede, it's SLB. Not too sure what he's doing in net, waiting for it. But we'll move now into kickoff three. Hopefully we can bring this one back. I'm going up for the 50-50. There we go, solid 50s into their corner. I'm going to work my way back now and collect corner boost. Sidora's up, gets flicked away. Oh, it's a big boom actually. I'm going to have to work my way back now. I thought it was going to hit the roof. SLB being a bit slow again, but it's okay. Try and make that one awkward for them, which it does. SLB with it, B with a nice little dink on it. I'm going to work my way back now, get ready for their touch. There we go, hit that one forward. Not too sure where he is. We'll knock it underneath him. We'll keep going up the side. We'll try to flick it across. Should be a goal here. And yes, it is. Uvi and Sidor with the finish. And that makes it 2-1 to us. 20 seconds left of this first goal of the season. First goal, first game of the season. We've managed to get a goal and an assist and a save as we move now into kickoff number four. Here we go. Big 50-50s. Nice one. It's going to go up this right-hand side. They're up for that one. We're going to follow it. No, we're not. We're going to miss it. Oh, thankfully, they didn't come in for the shot. We'll flip that around him. We've gone for the big boom up. Can't reach it. Oh, can we save it? Yes, SLB with the save. Nice flick away. They're going to take another shot. We're going to go for the uh, squishy save. And there we go. We're able to knock it down and get the win in the first game of the season. Verdict is, though, not a massive fan of the card. Don't think I'll be using it much but it is quite a smooth car on the ground it's just as soon as i go in the air it feels really heavy and i find it really hard to aerial with longer cars but let me know what you thought of the car anyway once you've played a few games with it and i hope you all enjoy this episode something slightly different if you did do make sure to like the video subscribe if you're new and i'll see you all in the next one